What is up, my good people? We are back again with another episode of Omori, and would you look at that? We're here at the train station again. Now, this is the thing that I completely forgot um, that we could have gone to in the last episode. Hence why I wanted to leave it off a little bit more early. Quote, unquote. It wasn't really early. It's probably going to be like a 50 or an hour long episode. Who knows? I'm just recording. I'm not editing just yet. Stop right there. You can't pass without a... Whoa. That's a train pass. You must be the last passengers. We've been waiting for you for a very long time. Well, that's an all clear for me. Welcome aboard, patrons. Rain, you say? Please don't tell me that Omori has a fucking fear of trains. I beg of you. Let us board the train. Choo choo. Uh. Howdy! Where is home? Where is home? Why do I f hear kids screaming outside my home? Where is home? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have gone here. Maybe I should have gotten Pessy's thingy my bobber or whatnot. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back, go back, go back. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Where am I? Where am I? Uh, so how do you do? Howdy? I saw, I, what, what were those eyes up there? Eyes everywhere. Uh, how long is this train? Let me off, let me off, let me off! I'm not done with business. Uh. Uh. How do you do, partner? Sunny? Uh, no clue who you're talking to. I'm Omori. And these are my friends. Oh my god, this thing's almost dead. Jesus. Sunny. 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 But don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Sunny. I'm sorry. Ladies and gents, we have arrived at our stop. Welcome to Orange Oasis, where the moon shines brighter. Please exit the train in an orderly fashion. Thank you for your patronage, and please ride with us again. Uh, why is everyone toast? What the fuck happened to them? This is just never ending. Am I never gonna find the end to this thing? Am I just gonna have to eventually get off? I'll just get off. Orange Oasis, you say? Yeah, I'm pretty fast, but not as fast as a train. It's important to know your limits. Well, glad to know, glad to know. Isn't the air sweet here? You can smell the sugar. Oh, not over here. Where exactly is Orange Oasis on the map? Oba! It almost sounds like he was about to say Obama. I was waiting for the train for so long. I can't even remember why I wanted to come here. Oh well. Ah, you guys. What the hell are you doing over here? What are you gatekeeping now? The Orange Oasis. My god, these fruits are quite big. Dino's dig. Oh, would you look at that? We have another adventure lined up for us. Would you look at that? I already see a Pluto space line over there. 
Got another Mawai looking ass over there. Let's see what this Oasis has for us in store. I'm glad that I'm still able to keep on going on this. A bit of me kind of does not want to return to the real world just yet. I don't want to face the consequences of my actions. Apple juice. What's with all... Sure is a big apple. Yeah, it's New York. What's with all the giant fruits? That's what I'm wondering. Why are there so many big fruits? Is this supposed to be the supermarket or whatnot? Okay, first of all, let me just call down Pluto over here. Just to make sure that everyone remembers where the Orange Oasis is. But before I continue on with the Orange Oasis, I feel like I should just help out over here with what's left in Sprout Mall Village. What's up, my guy? Psst, hey kid, I couldn't help but over here. That guy Pessy dropped something valuable, right? Something precious, perhaps? I might be able to help you with that. Hmm, this guy seems awfully shady. What's the catch? Shady mole. Ahem. As you may already know, we sprout moles are very intelligent and high-functioning creatures. The smartest of us, the mayor, is creating a device that will help sprout moles do their work at a much higher capacity than what was previously possible. A fable device of legend that, when complete, will entirely revolutionize the modern world. He calls it the B.E.D. The bed? What do you want that for? Hey, no questions! Get me a bed first, and then we'll talk. A bed, huh? That seems simple enough. Wait, Kel, I don't know. He seems awfully untrustworthy. Maybe we should give him a bed and see what happens. If you think so, hero. But something about him really rubs me the wrong way. Alright, I guess... Find him a bed. And then I'll be able to get whatever whatever Pessy dropped. But I also need to find... Uh, actually, do I need to find Brother Mole first? Mari, any, anything that you need to tell me? Do I need to find Brother Mole again? Keeping Mole, Pesting, BD... No! I don't need to find Brother Mole again. I just need to find where the mayor is. If I remember correctly, I believe the mayor is on our right. Right? There we go, Mayor Mole. Blast! Where in the world is my good-for-nothing son? Last night I asked him to analyze the effects of my latest invention, the BED. And I'm longing to hear the results. Hope he's not doing what I think he's doing. Which is... God damn it, now I need to go find his son. Alright, is that the is that the son? Ugh, all this training's made me so hungry. I really wish I had some tofu right now. Here you go, here's tofu. Wow, thank you for the tofu! I really needed that. In return, he's my most prized possession. Please take good care of it. A big air horn. Cool, thanks. But you're still not the mole that I'm looking for. I hate myself. Uh, once again, I forgot to press on record. Fuck. Uh, basically, I gave him the bed. Everyone was in like, hey, 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 where's, where's Pessy Sting? And then Buddy over here tells me that a mole with a big pink bow has it. Not him, though. That's Brother Mole. The, you know, the guy who I had to give the, the, his package of tofu. The real culprit is Rosa. So I'm going to need to find out where the fuck she ended up going. So I will be right back. Hello, what is this secret entrance that we have over here? Uh, hi there. Uh, who are you? Whoa. The gasp! C could it be? Ah, uh, finally! Some company! <laughs> I've been alone for so long, but after what feels like an eternity, at last, I have an audience! <laughs> Who am I, you ask? Why, I am the great up-and-coming ar artist, Rococo! This guy's kind of weird. Let's get out of here. Wait, don't go! Uh, please, listen to my story! Excuse us. Please listen, I'm so lonely! Ahem. Right, now, where should I start? In the beginning was me, 
crying in a pod in the middle of space, witnessing my home planet blow up right before my eyes. I still can't remember it all so vividly. Fire, fire, everywhere, and then darkness. When I awoke, I found myself in the middle of a desert, surrounded by a sea of brown sugar and a strange land I soon learned to be called Orange Oasis. Even as a baby, I knew I was the sole survivor of my species, the last elf in the entire universe. So this is how it ends, I thought. Yet, in a stroke of luck, I was found by none other than a young donut by the name of Sweetheart. She brought me to her family and they took me in as one of their own. Sweetheart and I, we grew up together. It was a rough childhood. We fought frequently, but she would always win if I fought back. Well... Anyway, I learned to run, and I got quite good at running, but there's only so far you can, you can run. Yes, it was a hard time, but even through that suffering I stood firm, because even then I knew everything had a purpose. I was sent to this planet and survived for one reason, and one reason only, to repopulate my entire species. There is a conspicuous gap in my memory after this, so I'll fast forward a few years. At some point, Sweetheart and I fell deeply in love, became engaged, and moved to this giant castle together. We were inseparable, her and I, and we loved each other dearly. I would do anything for her, and I mean anything! I was ready to spend the rest of our lives together, to grow old, and to raise hundreds upon hundreds of children. Hmm, thinking about it now, I wonder if I ever made that clear to her. Uh, you probably didn't, buddy. Anyway, continuing my story. Alas, all good times must come to an end. As Sweetheart's fanbase grew, she and I grew apart as well. She began receiving gifts and letters from suitors all over the universe, asking for the chance to prove their love to her. Being her one true love, I was vehemently against this notion, but she wouldn't have it! Sweetheart is for sharing, she would say. That's tough, my G. So, one night while I was asleep, Sweetheart and her servants tied me up and sealed me inside the walls of her castle. I have been wandering aimlessly through the darkness inside the walls ever since, surviving off old toast and tofu. Fast forward a few more years, and that brings us to now! Yes, you four are the first living beings I've seen since that fateful day. Wow, sir. That's a really, um, shocking story. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. Why did you do it? Was I not good enough for you? Well, sorry about everything. We're going to go now. Wait! I am not finished yet! Uh, for the last few years, I've had a long time to think. I kinda gave up my dreams and all that stuff now. It seems so far away and pointless. So, I've decided to drop everything and become an artist instead. Oh, show us your art. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's quite great art you got there. Uh, and since I'm just starting out, I suppose I can give you all a discount. For my first ever masterpiece, I will only charge you 1,000 clams. 1,000 clams for a white, a white painting. Well, what do you guys think? 1,000 clams is kind of a steep, isn't it? Please commission me! We, we will think about it. Ah yes, yes of course, do take your time. Uh, how many clones do I have? I will stand right here until then. I have more than enough clans then. A simple futon, sheets are cheap, lumpy, and have many holes in them. Those are quite, quite the magnificent paintings you got there, buddy. 
or my first ever masterpiece, I will only charge you 1,000 clams. Have you decided to assist me on my journey of self-discovery? Sure, I'll do it. Le Magnificant! Please return after some more adventuring. After all, greatness takes time. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Uh, alright then, buddy. I'll, uh... I WON'T DISAPPOINT YOU! Okay... And you also made Omari the leader, goddammit. But, uh, okay then! I guess I'm supposed to buy all six of his paintings. Well, time to break more bases! Well, I thought I was gonna find Rosa over here in the dungeon, but apparently I found all the other moves that I threw away from the library, so... <laughs> I guess I know where they all ended up at. Hey, yo, what the hell? I just saw there's a little circle over here and then I see this trap door. What the? Why are there so many bears? Oh, no! Oh. I'm gonna have to go through Bear City, aren't I? Alright. Well, in that case, then, I have more than enough tofu. More than enough tofu. Thank you very much. Alright then, well, if it's Bear City, it is then. Oh boy. There is a lot of bears that I have to go through. Well then! I am prepared! No! Alright, there goes one bear. And we have another one. Immediately afterwards, we got another one. Hey, would you look at that? We have one more. We have another bear. Oh my lord, Kel was almost about to die. Jesus Christ, even after all this time, he is still fucking slow! Bro! Head faster, hero, please! Alright, did I mention that we have another fucking bear over here? Holy shit! 275 straight in the heart! God damn! And this bear still isn't dead. God, why is it always fucking Kel? That sucks. That's infuriating. And he's almost dead! If I just attacked with Hero! Actually, it's better that I, it's better that I just healed Kel. Hey, would you look at that? There's still more bears aligned. Uh, but I think this may be a good time for me to refresh just a little bit on the, uh, on the juice department over here. Alright, bears. Yep. Ooh. Hey, did I mention that there's more bears? Even more bears? Hey, guess what? There's even more bears! You thought the last- you thought that was the last one, right? No, there's more bears! Hey, guess what? There's even more bears! Even I'm surprised at how many bears there actually are in, up in this place. There's still more bears! Even after all this time, there are still more bears! <laughs> Alright, this in theory should be the last bear. I hope, because I am running out of everything. Holy shit, I made this bear sad! <laughs> I didn't realize that Omori's trip would make these guys sad. Oh shit! Now I'm not gonna get as much XP and clams when I'm going against this guy. Oh, never mind, he's angry again. Fucking hell. Alright, alright, alright. In theory, that should be the last bear. It was! It was indeed! Let's go! Combo meal, jack, jam packets. Actually, what does a jack do? 
it's this, aha! Also, I didn't realize that I fucking have a coconut that I could have been using this entire time. Uh, please call me Jack O'Lantern is my father's name. I could be using that or I could use the coconut. Mm. Why does that lower my defense? That sucks. I think I'll be going for the coconut just because it gives me more juice. But what the hell? I should have been looking at these things for way longer. It's less hard, but more juice. I I always value juice though just a little bit more if I'm being completely honest. A foxtail and jam packets. Yo, that was quite a mighty lot, lot of things that I have over here. But not a single, not a single key! Even though it says right here, beneath the trap door, my brother in Christ! We are almost about to complete this hangman and I still have no idea what the hell this spells out. In other news, what's the foxtail do? Oh my god, that's quite a lot of speed. Uh, what would happen if I give it to Aubrey? Really? It's less speed and less luck than the rabbit foot. You're kidding me here! Bro, this rabbit's foot is Fucking broken early game. Holy shit. Hey, so I kind of hate myself for, um, what you call is that not recording this, but apparently I could disturb the earth by Captain Space Boy's, uh, basement, closet, his backyard, whatever you want to call it. So let's see what happens if I disturb the earth. 67 damage doesn't seem like that much. 171, now we're talking just a little bit. Uh, I hope that... Oh, the the earth just crumbled. <laughs> like that. Holy shit. Oh no! I destroyed the earth! It's not like I could do it on any other planet. Earth was literally right in front of me. Look, I can't do it with Neptune. I can't do it with Uranus, I can't do it with Saturn, I can't do it with Jupiter, I can't do it with Mars. Not Venus, not Mercury, only the Earth! What the hell, man? I finally fucking found you. Holy shit. I went throughout the entirety of Otherworld, the entirety of the Junkyard, and of the other Sprout Mole Village over there, only for you bitch has to still be here. Rissa! The jig is up! Why are you here? I'm angry! Go away! Thanks to you, my dear sweetheart ran away with that blasted Captain Space Boy again! Ugh. Sweetheart was only a few doors away. But now she's flown galaxies away! How will I follow her now? Do I look like I can fly to you? Uh, I don't know if that was really our fault. Rasa, we know you stole Pessy's thing. Now give it back. This again? Why are you always after my sweetheart merchandise? I found it fair and square, so... It's finders keepers. Uh, don't worry, guys. Let me handle this. Hey, Rasa. Why don't you and I try to work something out? Ew! No! I don't want to hear it! There's no way that I'm giving you the most valuable new addition to my collection! Now get out of my house! Come on now! What do I do? <laughs> what do I actually do? Alright, do I... Do I tell Pessy? Do I tell... Do I tell the other buddy up there? Yeah, holy shit, I didn't realize how much time I've actually wasted trying to find Rosa. <laughs> Rosa's being difficult again, huh? Figures. She's always been like that. Here, take this and show it to her. There's no way she'll refuse you after seeing this. Blackmail! I love it! <laughs> now leave me and my new bed alone. Our business is done here. God love me some good blackmail now. I'm curious as to what it actually is. Blackmail contains details of Rosa's dark past. 
Oh, so it actually is just male that is black. <laughs> and it also contains some pretty black, some pretty dark stuff. Back again? Huh. You amuse me. Such a fruitless effort. Oh! Step aside, guys. I'll deal with her. Wait, Kel. It's true that Rosa is a real pain. But I have some serious issues with using blackmail as a means to- Hey, Rosa! Check this out! Oh, I pulled out the blackmail. Ooh, 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 where did you get that? <laughs> I, I changed my mind. Please, Kenser, I'll give you anything you want. I'll just politely hand over that blackmail at once. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Uh, you want a pesky thing, right? Fine, whatever. Take it. It's yours. Now give me that blackmail. Hurry up and do it. There, there, there. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm going to need you to get out of my house now. You already got what you wanted, didn't you? Now scram! Scram, I say! God damn, Rosa. Being a pain. Unironically, I used to work for a manager. Her name was also Rosa. She's just as, just as much of a pain as she is. God, who knew that even after all this time, Rosa was right fucking there. Alright, here we go, Pessy. You found it! My precious thing! There you go. Here's your thing. Thank you, I say. Thank you, I say again. In return for your selfless deed, I bestow upon you the ultimate gift. Which is... A sweetheart bust. Ah, isn't it beautiful? May it fill you with joy for the rest of your days. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool. What does it do? Well, that is that is quite a bust right there. Uh, let's see here. A bust of sweetheart. It's really heavy, like really, really heavy. Oh my god, that speed is abysmal. Minus thirty speed? Really? Hell no. I am fine with what I have Aubrey with right now than using that godforsaken bust. I'm sorry, but no sir Reed. Not using that. Finally, with the help of Pluto, I'm back here in the Orange Oasis. After everything that I've gone through this episode, I finally get to set up to what I wanted to do over here to begin with. Man. Where to start, where to start. Well, first of all, I know you hate window shopping, my good man. But, I just want to see. Anger on all friends, 60 juice, 150, 150. Maybe I could try getting some of those air horns. That would be useful. What do we have over here? Galabot's Gastropod. Today's special, oranges, peach soda, and milk. Alright. I'm the tofu connoisseur. I love all kinds of tofu. Each piece of tofu is unique and deserves to be enjoyed individually. If you trade me 10 tofu, I'll give you a snack that I've gathered for my many tofu related journeys. Oh, bro, I used like so much tofu. A whole chicken? A whole chicken? Okay, I still have more than enough tofu. Uh, 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 175 heart to all friends. God damn! A whole ass chicken? Yes, yes, yes. Here, I'll, I'll give you all my tofu that you want. And he gave me a chicken wink. Come on, my guy. First he gave me a, a whole ass chicken. And then he gave me a chicken wink? Come on, up the ante just a little bit. Alright, what do you give me? What do you give me? A pizza slice. I feel like each and every single one of these things you've been giving me afterwards has been a duds. Actually, I guess not really. A whole pizza, I mean, a pizza slice is still pretty good in a chicken wing, I guess. Hello, young travelers. Please try some of my refreshments. Made it all myself. Uh, I'll take some orange juice. 
I'll also take some peach soda. And I'll also take some milk. And what do we have over here? Small candies? Not for sale, not for sale. Now, all of these are for... Uh, whatchamacallit, the juice, right? Let's see, peach soda, 6% juice. Here's 100 juice. Apparently better than apple juice. Cap, cap. I will die on this hill. I will die on this hill. Apple juice is better than orange juice. Apple juice is better than orange juice. Cannot change my mind. And, uh, milk. He has 10 juice and increases defense for the battle. Fruit juice? You're not sure what fruit it is. Whatever. Alright. Shroom. Uh, let me get up here. I saw a melon. Hey, thanks for the dandelion. And I saw a gracious little melon over here that has my name written all over it. Wishbone! Luck plus seven, of course. Uh, not very interesting right now, to be perfectly honest. And you, sir, you're from the train station. What's up? How you do, buckaroo? The name's Mr. Outback. And I was busier than a moth in a mitten traveling the world in my youth. Nowadays, I'm more reserved. I stand on a cliff and I give advice to those who are willing to ask. And folks who have been here long, they know more than they learning on. We got a third R, you could say. A sixth sense, if you catch my drift. Your three purple head friends are full of love and spirit. But you, dark headed kiddo, your aura's all catty wampus. It's all dark and twisted. And it ain't mellowing down anytime soon. You got a real journey ahead of y'all. Now, that's not to discourage you, boy. Everyone's got their own journey. And I'd be obliged to help all y'all on yours. I can answer a handful of questions. So ask away if you so desire. Where's Basil? Where's Basil? I just want to know. Well, your friend ain't here is all I can say. But I think you know you have a way of knowing that answer. When someone looks for the truth, the world will create a set of keys. And those keys, they'll take a different form depending on the person's will. You know what your keys look like, don't you? Just press left bumper. And that's all she wrote! Did you want me to tell you more about something else? Alright, Mr. Outback, where am I? Hoo-wee! That's a good one! Now where do I start? Hmm. Well, this place has been around since the beginning of time, I reckon. It looks different to everyone. And this time around, it's pretty colorful and cutesy for the most part. Not to mention pretty dang big. That's a powerful imagination you got there, kiddo. And that's all she wrote. All right, well, what do you have more over here? Yeah, how, how, just how old are you? Don't you know not to ask old folks that? I'd say give or take 33,000 years, though. But it's not like that matters all that, that much at this point. And that's all she wrote. Thank you very much, Mr. Outback. Now y'all better ski at all. It's a long journey ahead, young whippersnappers. I'm rooting and tooting for you. Uh, hold on there, buddy. Pancake bunny? Bro, I was just passing around and then all of a sudden you just drop by uninvited. And would you look at that? He still dies just like the rest. Uh, this is a different one. Milkshake bunny. Why is it always bunnies, bro? Like, I un unironically am becoming a bunny killer. Despite me already killing enough bunnies by the vast forest. There's still more. Ooh, melon. Mango smoothie. Yes, sir. Orange Oasis is mostly full of senior folks who've been around since who knows how long. But I have my hopes. One day this place could be a flourishing city. There's plenty of land for development. Oh uh, no. Do I hear gingerfication anywhere? What do you call cheese that isn't yours? <clears throat> Nacho cheese! Excellent! Thank you very much. These whole spaces I mark in them. I have hidden my most precious belongings. Yes, I smash my face to remember, but lightly. Any harder, and it will break. Smash any harder, and it will break. Smash any harder, and it will break. Smash 
Twitch and packets. Now, uh, the thing is, is I know this. I know this asshole has put his face in other areas before. I just genuinely cannot remember where they are. I might, I might actually have to search up where these places, uh, where these places are, because I there's no way I'm gonna be backtracking. Everywhere just to find out where it is. I backtrack more than enough. Don't get me wrong. And I have nothing wrong with backtracking. But this would be like on a whole nother fucking extreme level. Also, ooh, melon. Alright, melon. What do you got over here? Breadfruit juice. And there's a guy over there who needs help. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll be there right momentarily. Greetings. Thanks for talking to me. Holy shit! Hunter clams! Greetings. Thank you for talking to me. Hey, no problem, no problem, buddy. Oh, great. One of you guys again. Look, I don't have the password, alright? I don't know how to get the password. Alright, find and be like that, buddy. Alright, my buddy old pal, what's up? A croissant is upside down and struggling to flip over. Flip him? Thanks! Uh... Is that it? Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he come from, Cotton Eye Joe? <laughs> Legends speak of a pair of twins who guard the orange oasis under their watchful eye. It is said that they have the power to raise the dead, among other things. I don't know if there's much truth about these legends, but wouldn't that be interesting? I mean, I guess? I'm more curious about where the hell the croissant went. The croissant. But first, let me just admire me and my friends. I love me and my friends. We get along so well together, don't we guys? This pond water is so clear. It's like I can see the whole nother world on the other side. The surface of the water is shimmering. Sure, let me stare at it intently. Uh Whoops. <laughs> uh Whoops. <laughs> 